Hello everyone, this is Vijaya from Informatica Technical Support. I am here to present a video KB on the match analysis tool developed by the MDM support team. So the agenda for today would be what is MAT, why do we need MAT, how to use it in MDM or the demo of the match analysis tool in MDM and the documents for reference. So what is MAT? MAT is the match analysis tool that is developed by the MDM support team basically to analyze and, and troubleshoot the tokenization related issues in MDM. So tokenization plays a key role in the match process so to resolve or to help you with the tokenization related issues this is a self assisting tool which is like a one stop tool to resolve the tokenization related issues. So why do we need match analysis tool? Firstly it will help you to troubleshoot or resolve the issue related to tokenization by yourself. So it is like a self assisting tool to resolve the tokenization related issues. Secondly, to resolve a tokenization related issue, we manually check each and every configuration in the MDM hub. So rather than manually checking it, this tool will reduce the manual effort in checking each of the configurations manually because this runs an entire scan of the MDM hub environment that is related to tokenization. So it reduces the manual effort in checking the configurations and uh, it also helps you to analyze the current managed configurations in the hub console. For example, if we consider a party based object, it will analyze the entire match and tokenization related configuration for that particular base object and it will suggest you with the findings and the corresponding recommendation followed by the KB article to follow so that you will know what is the issue, you will know how do you resolve that issue as well. And uh, as I said before, this will direct you to the right KB articles related to each of the parameters involved in the tokenization process. So you will also know how do you resolve that issue as well. And uh, it also provides an overall analysis of all the areas that are related to tokenization. So when you consider tokenization, you have areas like environment variables that, that will affect the process and database specific parameters, the property files and most importantly the population files along with the tokenization health check of the entire hub environment. So let us see a demo of the match analysis tool now. So the match analysis tool would be available in the MDM support tool when you click on the help menu. So here if you see earlier you would have got CSM and user migration tools. Now the match analysis tool would be available here. So this will have choose ORS or BO section wherein you need to choose the corresponding ORS. So based on the ORS the base objects related to the ORS would be populated in the sorted order. For example I am selecting the party base object. and this is an additional parameter which will help you to include the BO matrix. For example, when you check this particular parameter, though it will fire more queries in the back, it will be like taking a longer time, but still this will give you an additional information of this base object that is selected. So let me show you without selecting it and then I'll show you with after selecting that. So when you click on retrieve, you will find the servers available. Firstly, the cleanse server connection should be successful because all the tokenization and match jobs will be running on the cleanse server, right? So it will be like scanning the match servers and the cleanse servers that are available online. From 971, the cleanse server is called the process server. So we have included the process server term as well here. So match servers online would be two and the process server would be one and uh, since we are uh, running the tokenization job on a match server the match server URL would be displayed here and depending upon the number of match servers we have online the dynamic match server information grids would be constructed here. If you see you would see two match server grids which are having the health check results. So when you see the parameters you, if you will find one grid for hub server and uh, many dynamic grids for each of the process server information. So now if you see the hub server information, we display the errors first followed by the warning followed by the information. Since I don't have any errors here, there are no errors displayed. Now 
we can also uh, we are also scanning the different modules available here for example when you consider hub level there are database related parameters and environment related parameters considered to tokenization so database and environment variables are displayed here so for example nls lens semantics if you consider we scan it whether it is a care or a byte and based on that the column length and bytes indicator should be validated so if it is this is a warning because there is no strict and fast fast it's a it's not a rule that this value should be having this one it depends on the business requirement right so this is a warning here when you see the kb article here that will log into the my support portal so this will automatically redirect you to the my support portal and you need to log into the portal and after that the kb articles related to this parameter would be displayed so for example this is related to nls lens semantics so whatever issues are there related to nls lens semantics the recommendation and everything that is there in these kb articles here and you can also filter the information based on the error warning or um, info and this is about the hub server when you consider the match server information or the process server we analyze and uh, um, scan all the environment all the parameters that are related to the file like the cmx server file properties and then the population files and then the environment variables that are related to the match server for example if you see the base object population file it will display the configured population file which is the demo.ysp that is selected for the bo and um, here if you see the ld library path it will validate that as well if this ld library path is incorrect there are many issues that are related to tokenization if this parameter is incorrect so we validate that as well and uh, whether it is an exact match object that is the first parameter to see whether a record bo can be tokenized or not so one more thing is the server encoding flag based on this you will have uh, unicode settings and other relate uh, other tokenization related issues so we scan that as well and the java version also plays a main role if you have supported java version it will display here so those are the parameters that are validated and one more important uh, parameter is the show population file button so once you click this button it will show the population file in each of the match servers that are connected so here if you see there are few scenarios where the population file would be corrupted or the population file in one match server is not matching with the population file in the other match server the sizes might be different right so for those scenarios we thought of uh, populating the population file here so this will display the population file along with the file size uh, corresponding to that particular match server if you don't have mo population files in the server that information is also displayed here if you are not able to connect to the match server then the error would be displayed saying that it is not able to connect to the match server you can also ungroup and group the uh, each of the records based on error warning and information so here if you see the ssapr path itself is invalid so tokenization will throw an error for example uh, there are many issues related to match folder ssapr path the population file and everything so since in this server i don't have any population file this is displayed as an error here and uh, since i don't have any population file and there are no population file configured in the c repos ssa population uh, table the base object also doesn't have so this says that error here and uh, properties file also i don't have anything say for example the cmx cleanse property file itself is not there because ssapr path is different this will populate this will point to this particular location so for un for this particular property it means that okay i don't have any cmx cleanse properties here which is an error for me so we scan all the parameters each and every parameter across environment variable the databases the file properties then the population file everything that are related to tokenization now let's see after checking this parameter what happens this include biometrics if i check this i will have additional parameters related to the hub console so if you see here the null fuzzy key column this was not there earlier and the exclude from match column was not there tokens in the table is not included 
exact uh, dirty indicator is not included hubster indicator consolidation indicator these things are not at all included once you uncheck this one so once you check this one these are the parameters because these are the parameters that are specific to each of the bo other than these parameters these are all like uh, it's just the metadata but these are the exact data that is available so when you check this property these parameters would be included for validation and also at the end of the uh, entire uh, hub server right so here you will find the bo metrics available which will give you a summary of the entire um, base object um, at the data level so bo records number of bo records the base object type number of records with dirty indicator and number of records with consolidation indicator as 9 and the excluded from match column you will have an excluded from match column if that is having any records that is set to 1 then those records will be excluded from tokenization so that is why we, va we are validating this one and null fuzzy match key would be like the number of uh, null physical columns with the value as null which are included as a fuzzy match key column so those validations also we do because of this we have many issues related to k dollar dollar tokens generated in the strp table and uh, valid tokens also are displayed here so after you understand all this say for example uh, to resolve this issue how do i go about it you click on refer kb article so that will give you a kb article to resolve that particular issue so you need to understand okay idd extended search works as a basic search in mdm so this issue is because I'm having some null values in my physical fuzzy match key columns. So these are all the uh, trips and ticks, tricks to resolve the tokenization related issues. Say there is a situation where uh, you followed all the KB articles and all the parameters here but still you are not able to resolve. In that scenario you can click on the export button to get this entire uh, information as an excel sheet so that you can attach it to the case that you are raising with the MDM support so that we will check this particular uh, information first and then we will proceed and see whether there are any more complex issues that are involved rather than these parameters. So this is a way to export the entire uh, tool um, parameters that are analyzed here and using this you can um, very well export this data and you can attach to the case that you are raising with the MDM support team. So support will analyze these parameters first followed by the uh, further analysis. So if you see the match analysis tool, uh, where and when is it available? It is available from the MDM uh, version 951HF7 and more and also from 971HF1 and plus versions because uh, when you go to the help menu and then click on MDM support tool or when you go to the enterprise manager and click on the MDM support tools, from there the tool is available from 951HF7 and 971HF1. but if you want to manually deploy the entire EAR file, this is just a WAR file that has to be deployed into the EAR. So if you want to manually deploy it and if you are under 951HF7 or 971HF1 versions, then you can very well refer to this KB article which is 194565 or if you have any difficulties in deploying them, you can very well contact the support team for the manual deployment. We will be happy to help you on that. And you also have the MAT help document which is uh, given for the pre-96 version and also for post-96 versions. This particular article is uh, document is attached to the KB article 239270. This KB article will help you to understand how do you launch the match analysis tool and um, um, what are the help documents available. So these are all the main KB articles that are involved for the match analysis tool. You can very well refer them and uh, get back to the support team if you have any further queries on that. Thank you for listening to my video KB. We would love to hear from you on the feedback of this video KB and the match analysis tool. So you can very well provide your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweet us in the info support uh, of the Twitter. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.